Welcome back to Pulse Studios, home of 94.7 The Pulse Community Radio and Pulse Television. This show is produced by Diversitat students and volunteers. So if you'd like to be part of the show as a volunteer, or if you're interested in one of our media courses, check out 947thepulse.com to find out more. Next, Kate is out of her gourd at the Encompass Community Services Pumpkin Fair in Leopold. Well, I'm here quite literally in the middle of a pumpkin patch at a place called The Paddock in Leopold. It's run by an organisation called Encompass and today they're holding the first ever pumpkin fair. We're going to talk to some of the people who are involved in the pumpkin fair, see some of the sights and hopefully get to taste some pumpkins while we're at it. I'm here with Elaine Robb. She's the CEO of Encompass, who's putting on the pumpkin fair today. Elaine, tell us about Encompass. What kind of an organisation is it and who does it help out? Okay, Encompass is a non-profit organisation. We're turning 30 this year. Wow. So we've been providing different activities and support services for people with all kinds of disabilities right throughout the Barden Southwestern region. We're here today at the paddock. That's the name of the place, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. the paddock. And it's just a wonderful place. I can see that there's all sorts of crops growing and farming activities going on. So tell us what goes on actually at the paddock. <laughs> you name it, we do it yeah. here. Um, so we've got some hot houses. Uh, we propagate our own plants. Uh, we've had a lot of support from businesses around uh, the Geelong business community, but we do propagate our own plants. We grow the most awesome garlic you've ever tasted. Really? It's just beautiful. Um, so we have lots and lots of different crops and, and the people who come along to Encompass, they may be involved in planting or propagating plants. They may be harvesting plants. I'm sure you've seen there's about a million pumpkins here at the yeah. moment. Uh, we've also got an orchard we've just opened earlier this year and the people from the Flying Brick Cider Company have supported us with the orchard and they're about to triple the size of it. Fantastic! That's just wonderful news. So you're actually supplying fruit directly to the cider company? We will be and we also provide them with a lot of our produce that goes into their kitchen for the various things they make. Awesome food, yeah. Oh, they have got awesome food. Oh, it's just a beautiful place here. What are the participants who come along and work on the farm? What do they get out of it, do you think? I think mainly it's about self-confidence and self-esteem and knowing that they have a place like anybody else in the world to do whatever it is that helps them find their place as a citizen contributing to the economy. Yep. So about 30% of our actual staff have a disability and wow. everybody is on award based wages so there's no differentiation between anybody. Well it's just absolutely wonderful that you share the work of your organisation with us today at the Pumpkin Fair. It's the first year, do you hope to do it again? I don't know whether my staff want to hear it today. They are all exhausted. We've had so much pun, but we would love to do it every year. It would just be an amazing event. It's We just exceeded our expectations today, so bigger and better next year. Excellent. Thank you so much for talking to us, Elaine Rob. With Kelly, she's an employee of Encompass and she is running the spinning wheel today. Kelly, how awesome is this pumpkin fair? Oh, this is just grand. All the people that have arrived, it's fantastic. Um, how long have you been involved with Encompass for? Oh, I've worked at Encompass now for six years. It's a great organisation. Yeah. It just seems amazing. So so much of like the farming that's going on here, you're really helping people to get skills and confidence. I mean, do you get a good feeling out of doing that? Oh, exactly. And that's exactly why I, I don't go to work for the wages, I can tell you that much. <laughs> it's simply because I love being there and helping out the people. Yeah. And we do a very thorough job of that. We're a really great organisation for that. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much for talking to us at the Pumpkin Fair today, Kelly. All right, Jasmine, spin the wheel. <laughs> well done. White Ribbon Day, an international day working towards the elimination of men's violence towards women. There's events going on right around Australia in the state and also here in Geelong. And today I'm at Bethany Community Services to find out what services they provide to families in the Geelong community. I'm here with Grant Boyd, CEO of Bethany. Thanks so much for joining us today, Grant. Can you just give us a bit of background about who Bethany is? 
Jane, Bethany is a large um, community service organisation in Geelong servicing the western, uh, southwest Victoria, and uh, we were established in 1868 uh, on our original site here in Ballarat Road. Family violence is a very important area of our work. We provide a range of programs to uh, work with men to hold them to account for their family violence and also to support the victims of family violence, which are mostly women and children. And why is it important, do you think, to have a day like uh, White Ribbon Day? I think it's important for uh, men to reflect and remembering that most men don't use family violence, but for men who don't use family violence to reflect and do something about the issue, to promote the issue amongst the community uh, when talking with people that it's inappropriate for men to use violence against women or children at any time. We receive about 1,100 reports uh, from, uh, mostly from the police of uh, family violence incidences a year, and that's men who use family violence. So uh, we work with those men in a range of ways, but mostly around holding them to account. So whether that's um, uh, assisting straight after the report to work with those men, whether it's running um, behaviour change programs uh, in the evenings for groups of men, but we have a range of programs that work with those men to help them change their behaviour. And what sort of support does Bethany provide to women and children who are in a, a family violence situation? Um, Bethany provides a, a wide range of services to women and children, but specifically for women and children experiencing family violence. For example, we have just piloted one of two programs in Victoria called the Strengthening Risk Management Demonstration Project to... Um, manage the most high-risk family violence cases. So we're talking here about women who might be at risk of lethality or serious injury, where all of the players get together and develop a, a risk management and support plan for those women. Recently, the state government announced that that um, program, the RAMP or Risk Assessment and Management Panel, part of that program is going to be rolled out in Victoria. So we're very proud to have played a part in trialling this approach, which makes sure that all of the agencies involved, whether that's police, justice, child protection, housing services, welfare services that are involved with those high risk cases get together and develop a coordinated plan to protect uh, women and children. That's sensational. So it's really taking that holistic approach towards family violence situation. We do have an integrated approach. So we consider all of the needs. So often women uh, fleeing family violence might need housing. They might need financial assistance. They might need assistance with caring for their children or a range of practical support. So it's really a matter of packaging all that support around the women and children and then working with men to help hold them to account and looking at how we can assist change that behaviour. It's been fantastic to be here at Bethany today on White Ribbon Day, which is working towards the elimination of violence against women. This is Jane Thomas for Pulse Geelong TV. <laughs>